Uh, just like I've promised, uh, we're going to have a look at the hardware of VHub1. So this is our little box here. Um, the mechanical stuff, this is what uh, what's left from the balloon itself. This was a Howie uh, 1600 gram balloon. Latex balloon. Uh, this was the this is just the rest that was uh, hanging there when we found it in the field. Um, we also got this uh, self sewn uh, parachute here. This is a uh, five foot parachute. Really big. Um, very small hole and this thing here uh, worked so good uh, that we actually fell half the descent uh, rate we, uh, we aimed for. We wanted to go with 6 meters per second but actually uh, we went down to, to uh, 3 meters. Um, it's made from a military grade uh, silk material. Uh, we Oscar one uh, Fox sort of Co Alpha uh, found it uh, somewhere online and bought some dog material. And his wife made us this uh, parachute. Um, this will probably uh, be used uh, in the next next starts as well. Um, so that's that for the mechanical parts. Uh, yeah, not quite. Um, the whole setup was about uh, 40 meters long, so we had a. This was at the bottom, then we had a rope to uh, the uh, version 2 tracker from uh, stsproject.net, then we had uh, another 10 meters um, to this uh, parachute, and then 20 meters to the balloon. Um, we used this. Uh, our, uh, so, this is, these are, uh, this is a 2 meter antenna, this is a uh, 70 centimeter antenna for the tracker and this uh, should have done APRS but unfortunately it didn't um, and we used uh, these uh, as a stabilizing uh, holder for a stabilizing flag here so when the wind blows onto it it will uh, align itself with the one which uh, actually worked well up until 10-15 uh, kilometers height because then the air is so uh, uh, undense <laughs> uh, that it just wasn't was not used anymore and these are simply plugged in and screwed uh, on the in in internally uh, these are uh, uh, lambda half deep holes uh, very simple uh, welding wire simple, simple as you can go um, for the next start we plan to do a uh, ground plane antenna uh, to the bottom because if you see uh, if we have these these deep pole antennas here uh, the radiation pattern will be around this way and we basically you lose um, uh, at least uh, three fourths uh, of the of the of the field and yeah that's pretty useless if I send out 100 milliwatts and only uh, bring down 25 to earth uh, well no 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 much uh, good there um, but we wanted to try this anyway and it just seemed like a good idea at the time um, well let's have a look inside uh, this is a buzzer here um, worked well on the ground when it came back it was uh, not loud enough uh, it just was uh, me 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 I think uh, there was just some moisture stuck on the blades in there and they just didn't vibrate as loud. Uh, this is the external temperature sensor, it's a DHT22. Um, didn't work too well, but I think this was my software problem. Um, just have these, uh, some little text up there um, to have uh, 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 some telephone numbers and, 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 and instructions so please don't open the box when you find it blah 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 uh, in uh, Slovakian language and in German uh, in the top here we got our uh, uh, this is the Ublox uh, Max 6 chip uh, and breakout board uh, which provided GPS um, 
they actually got a uh, a new design out right now, I think. Uh, what have we got here? Yes. Okay, so this is our payload. Whoopsie. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Let's get this out. So inside we got this uh, body heater at the bottom, so we, we can uh, maintain a stable temperature inside. Um, here was the uh, Ixus camera mounted which didn't uh, shoot uh, pictures but uh, video. We had uh, here a keyring cam, 33 bucks from China. And then we got another keyring camera to the top, so if you've seen the other video you know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, let's start with this here. Um, so we got this uh, Arduino, um, which talks to to uh, an RF RFM breakout board via SPI. So this is a uh, just some some radio module uh, that will do at 70 centimeters, and with a little hack you can uh, bring it to uh, transmit uh, with uh, a radio teletype. So this is normally using FSK blah 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 something something uh, modulation to transfer data bits, but with uh, radio teletype you basically just um, set it to a frequency and change the frequency, and this uh, will give the information. So it's a very simple protocol and uh, provides uh, provides a very simple uh, data transmission can be decoded with practically a wet rug um, we got two uh, voltage um, uh, inver uh, converters here um, one will uh, one provided uh, two 4.2 volts for the Canon Xus and one provided 5 volts for the board here um, let me take the Atmega off so this is my baby, uh, went to space, pretty cool. Um, yeah, what, have, what more have we got? Well, we got an internal temperature sensor, another DHT. Um, here was uh, a plug-in for a uh, slot for a uh, uh, SD card. Unfortunately, we couldn't use the SD card because uh, the memory of the Atmega chip on the Arduino was just full. Um, yeah, we are also we also have been reading uh, analog values. Um, in the end, uh, this board didn't work. Um, it was just uh, not enough time to do it to do everything right, and I just hacked, uh, piled on library after library and stuff, stuff, stuff. And we only got um, oh, around uh, 50 data sets or something. And I made a terrible software mistake with uh, the RFM chip. Um, there are uh, there are two inputs for the an antenna. So there is a, uh, a antenna in and antenna out, and one of those is tied. Uh, an, Either one of those is tied to a cheap help, and which can be uh, put uh, put to high impedance mode or a high uh, or to ground. And the library assumes a different layout than this chip does. And the problem I had, I fixed this. Uh, so it just it's just flipping uh, two values. Uh, problem with that was I re-imported the library and just forgot uh, to do it. So effectively, this made uh, our antenna not the these two long uh, uh, 70 centimeter dipole, but in fact a two millimeter long uh, trace on this board, and then it went to ground. Um, because I'm fucking stupid, um, well, this was my error, so at a height of 1500 meters, we didn't get anything. Um, just uh, garbage and then it was gone. Fortunately, uh, the Slovakian team provided us with a with a backup track and this one did work. Um, well, uh, here we got some uh, reset circuitry. Um, it's just a tiny 13 chip, uh, two transistors to switch power to the cameras off. Um, unfortunately, we 
don't have uh, pictures from the landing because uh, all because of the parachute uh, descending uh, so slowly we didn't get any um, well uh, I won't publish software or board layout for this uh, because it's uh, well a heap of crap um, I'm going to build a version 2 tracker um, boil it down to a very simple level um, uh, our friends from STS project solved the SD card problem by simply having a secondary uh, Atmega chip uh, connected to the serial port of the first one and simply uh, collecting all, all the stuff from serial port and writing it to SD card. That's uh, probably the way I want to go. Um, my next design will be a uh, one GPS module, one out mega chip and one RFM chip, just that, and then a secondary chip and, a sec uh, and everything we want to do in, 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 in steps like that. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's it for our payload. Um, I'll keep you posted on any progress uh, I'll make with, uh, with more uh, high altitude fun. Uh, see you then. Goodbye.